It's been another interesting week in digital marketing, so here's five things you might have missed. First and foremost, Threads finally got a much needed update by launching their API to developers. So now you can finally use your favorite third-party apps to schedule posts, manage replies, and even get better insights on post engagement as well as your followers. Like I said, this was a much overdue update for Threads, but if they actually wanna compete with Twitter, they have a long way to go. Next up, Reddit launches an updated version of their conversation ads, which will feature larger, more premium media, and it will be in between individual comments. Here's an example of what that ad will look like. It's pretty much just a more engaging ad option just because that's a prime location already in the app. Over on YouTube, they decided to take a page out of Elon's book, not sure why, but they're testing their version of community notes. This option will work quite literally the exact same as Community Notes does on Twitter, where users have the opportunity to add notes under videos just to provide further context or correct what was wrong. I know that works so well over on Twitter. Honestly, there's some iconic Community Notes out there, so I'll be interested to see how this works over on YouTube. Still sticking with YouTube, Instacart will now have shoppable ads on YouTube. These ads will feature shoppable links from select brand partners where viewers can directly click on the product link to purchase the Instacart item and get it within a few days. So great news for Clorox wipe users. And lastly, TikTok will enable businesses to create their own virtual characters. Now stay with me. They're launching this new marketing platform that will allow brands to select virtual influencers to help sell their product directly in the app. I know that sounds insane, right? Here's an example of what that looks like. You can choose between a range of digital characters where their goal is to pretty much just sell your product 24 seven on live streams. Now, apparently these AI hosts do really well in the Chinese market, but personally, I don't see them doing well over here. It just seems weird and scammy to me and not at all personable or convincing to buy something from. I mean, the whole purpose of ads is there's a hook, there's a message, there's a reason that makes you want to buy this product. Just having an AI virtual assistant do that just doesn't seem convincing, but I don't know, what do I know? But yeah, that's just a few things that happened this week. If I miss anything, let me know in the comments.